Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank and today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and start us a new run. I think we'll stick with our Insight build as we seem to have the best luck with it. And I've got to try to figure out a way to get 80 challenge points. I think I'm going to go single candle to uh, hopefully reduce some of the problems I've been having. Um, tip scales is kind of a problem too, so I'm going to leave on these other advantages and we'll do no boss rares and boss totems and um, perhaps that'll be a good combo that we can win with. So hard to get 80 points. I don't know how I'm going to get like 100. Okay, let's see. I guess right away we're going to trade some pelts. Okay, let's see. Well, um, hmm. Putting. It'd be kind of interesting to put the millworm's ability on the corpse maggots or vice versa so that we could consume it, like right after. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's any novel tricks here, but I don't know. That might not be too good. I do want to go for an insect build, however, so maybe we'll go with, say, beehive and millworm. Kind of funny to combine the two of those as well. All right. Um, bees inside on millworm and then boosting the millworm up pretty high could be pretty cool. So we can consume it when we're ready to and generate bees. I think we'll go with the woodcarver first. Okay, cool. All right. What are you throwing in as first? A bee. So let's do. about a flying ant. Oops, there we go. You know, I think on the beehive, I uh, kind of would like to have um, Mighty Leap on it. So if I get a bullfrog that has that, I can use it to block um, airborne things. That would be really nice. Okay, now we have time to get our ant queen on the board. She'll be pretty powerful. There we go. That leaves us space to get us a uh, worker ant. Uh, I think we have enough to uh, clear the board now and win. Here we go. <laughs> All right, sigil swap, or do we want to try to boost something? Now, I really like the idea of a millworm with bees within. Um, I think I'm gonna go with that. So let's do a uh, sigil swap. That'll kind of give an interesting dual purpose for our millworm there. It can help us generate bees for at least a little while. And, uh, you know, when we're ready to consume it, we'll, we'll consume it. All right, here comes this bullfrog. That's funny, it has a mighty leap on it already, so that's kind of a waste. We'll put our mantis down and that'll help attack the bullfrog when it comes down our way. Oh, and it puts a natter in front of us. How nice. Um, in that case, we'll put down our flying ant to uh, hopefully take out the bullfrog. There we go. Wow, they're really doubling up on this uh, mean strategy here. Mm -hmm. 
Good thing we'll uh, turn this around pretty quickly. There we go. Okay, let's see. We don't really have enough teeth to trade in yet, so I would kind of like to go to the wood carver, however, but I think we'll go this route and we'll get the wood carver um, at our next opportunity. Hey, sometimes getting the middle gets us a pelt. That's awesome. We're going to boost our uh, combo millworm and beehive. I think it, that would make most sense. There we go. Now anybody can take advantage of those extra stats. All right, let's see. I think we still want to head to the wood carver, so let's go this way. All right, ringworm and a worker ant. I think getting rid of our worker ant would be higher priority. We'll uh, weaken it here a little bit when we work on getting other cards. Okay. I kind of figured something like that was going to happen. So let's put our flying ant over here and um, our golden pelt over here to block some damage. Okay, nobody's going to be able to move now. And we have a some millworm. Okay. Oh, nice. We can make us a strong mantis here. Nice. Okay. Looks like that worker ant won't be able to beat the mantis, at least not in one turn. So that's good. It's about to get the smackdown. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Kind of liking the... Uh, Fusion of powers here, it's feeling good. Let's see, I don't think we need another bone card right now. Um, let's go for a two blood. Ah, Fecundity. One of my favorites. Alright, give me a good one. Alright, Bone Digger or Loose Tail. Um, I like Loose Tail in theory, but sometimes it kind of causes problems because you can't sacrifice them, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's go with Bone Digger because maybe there's a chance we'll get us like a high value, um, bone animal and, uh, that'll lead to something strikingly powerful. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to do the same millworm enhancement thing. So we'll have us an opportunity to either generate bees for a turn or two or um, enhance something right away. It's bit block damage for one turn and then was used to enhance um, one of my cards. That would be pretty sweet. An angler. About to get yours. Let's see. Okay. I guess let's uh, just start off strong with our mantis here. Okay, now he's gonna start taking his toll by trying to drag something over. Um, let's put us a squirrel over here and that'll block off that other kingfisher. There we go. Unfortunately, we're going to lose that squirrel next turn, but um, that is okay. We can get us a uh, flying ant on the board to help make up for it. Alright, good. Let's see. I guess we can put squirrel over here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, let's draw from here. And we get its golden pelt. Mantis is going to activate that one, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, I could sacrifice. And I think he would send another bait bucket in. Um, however, I do have a golden pelt. And I can pull a tooth. And that would put us at... Um, pretty good thing. We may be okay with this. This could be a misplay, but we're going to get two, three, and only be one away, so I think it we're fine, actually. Okay. There we go. Got it. Didn't even need to pull teeth, but it's kind of good to get rid of that item so that we can get um, something else. All right, no boss rares. Um, let's get the cockroach because if we can get something that auto deploys and is undying, we would be in a pretty good situation. Let me see what our existing cards have for us right now. Nothing with auto deploy. Um, however, we could put it like on the field mice and they would be deployable over, or with a fecundity, I'd assume they would double over and over. We would never run out, of, run out of them, I would assume. I don't know. It'd be cool if we could combine those on a single one blood and do uh, double sacrifice. Okay. Child 13. Not a huge fan of it since it's airborne. Um, amalgam would be nice. Or having pack rat. Um, the Idrock is pretty cool, um, but I think I'll go with Amalgam, since we'll be able to apply it no matter what totem we have. Okay, a Sigil Swap. Um, what could we do here? An amalgam with Bifurcated Strike would be pretty sweet. Um, I'm kind of a little bit concerned about getting rid of one of our one blood attackers um could get some items we could power something up again uh let's see do we have any duplicate cards yet looks like we don't so we can't take advantage of our um fungi event quite yet maybe we'll go here and then don't think we have quite enough for a trapper yet and we'll go get items and um, that'll be it. Okay. Alright. Who do we want to get some power? Uh, let's see. I think let's go with the millworm again. We can buff somebody up quite a bit. So, we're going to keep on that path. If it gets to be three and four, that would be pretty amazing. Alright. We're going to have Hells to deal with now. We have a Raven and a Skunk. So, I could play a Skunk and slow down the Raven's evil attack. Um, I think I'm going to have to do something like that, actually. Worst case scenario, we'll pull over whatever its next offense um, card is and use it for nefarious needs. Um... Field Mice could help us out here with its fecundity. Um, I think it will go ahead and get it on the board. There you go. Ah, a Cuckoo is incoming. That's not good. Um, I think we would need to pull the Raven over. We only have one candle on, too, so we can't afford to lose. Um, and Raven would give us, I think, just enough to survive. So let's go ahead and pull the Raven over. Okay, so that would give us plus four, and um, can't play anything else really at this moment, so I'm just going to continue. Okay, we have another field mice to put out. There we go. Let's 
Well, here comes a stout to ruin our day. Nice. We could uh, get the amalgam out on the board by uh, just doing a couple of small sacrifices here. Almost had enough to play the cockroach again, too. Okay. Alright. Good. Maybe we'll have enough to go to the uh, pelt trader. Let's see. It's looking pretty close. Um, I guess let's make the trip. Might be just a hair shy of being able to get a golden pelt, but we'll see. Alright, sweet. I think that we'll save up in case we can afford to get a wolf pelt or golden pelt um, in the next visit. Ooh, okay, let's see. I think a black goat would be a good idea. And a boulder. And scissors. It's not bad. Let's see, that's about a medium uh, haul overall. Okay, and we have a pronghorn that's coming in, and we're not going to be able to take this guy out, unfortunately. Um, so we got to figure out what to do about it. Um, could block some of its damage with the boulder, like out in the corner, or we could just do a card snip after like its first turn. Um, I think that I might need to do something like that. The millworm is going to have to wait. I think that getting our flying ant is more or less our only choice here. And we will snip the pronghorn when it comes in. This waterborne is not a good sign of things to come, though. Um, let's see. I think now we'll have enough to sacrifice for a really strong field mouse. Oh, it only gave me a 2 and 2. I was hoping it would give me a 4 and 6. That would have been cool. Alright. Um, this will do enough damage to bust. It won't... Actually, I think it'll only do direct damage, so it's not going to do anything. Um, so, cutting the card may be moot overall. Um, I could instead focus on playing these guys elsewhere. Like, I could get this other field mouse on the board, and that would be 6 damage, um, which I could take out on the mole. Hmm. I think that may be a wiser move overall, so let's do it. Okay. We'll use the uh, scissors cut if we absolutely must. Okay, and an ant queen. Um, let's see. I think if we're going to be fine. We're going to get four more damage here. Good. I'm glad I got to hold on to that pair of scissors. Okay. So, fungus event. Um, we could head over here, and if we get lucky, maybe we'll have something to combine for the fungus event. Um, or we could head up for a duplicate. I, I mean, I guess millworm could be a good duplication, but how much... Like, what the odds are of me getting to use that twice, I'm not super strong on. Um, trying to see if there'd be any reason I want to do something unkillable, like I said, the cockroach, maybe the mantis. Um, but, kind of running low on power ups. I want to head towards fungus part, but don't have a lot of good candidates, in my opinion, um, for that. So let's go the duplicate route and just get us another millworm. Maybe that situation will work out nicely. Um, I don't know. Let's go with the random card. Why not? Maybe it'll end up being something really nice from time to time. Okay. Duplicate millworm. Hope it comes out right. 
At least get both of the sigils, please, bud. Okay. Well, it got stinky instead, I think. Um, that's alright. That's not bad. I'd rather it be slightly different than missing those uh, good two and four stats, you know. Ooh, we're about to get us a strong mantis right here. Um, one that'll take out this dire wolf pup. So, um, fortunately, I won't be able to get our mealworm on the board to help with that. So, let's see. Something else may have to wait. But that puts us in a bad situation, too. Um, Golden Pelt could block the damage. Or I could use the boulder. And what else? Let's see. I do wish I could um, sacrifice the squirrels and the Golden Pelt you know, directly to have enough bone. Um, to play the millworm, but unfortunately that's not how this game works. So, I guess let's put the mantis down like so, and, um, that'll put it in the path of the direwolf pup on the next turn, I think, but it's not a huge, huge deal, so let's just go with what we got. I should have probably moved it over. Um, I don't know if it'll be able to get past the grand fur. No, oh, it can. Of course. Um, so let's go with this guy. And we've got a skunk. And what could I do to go after this? Um, could get a really strong skunk going. Um, it would be able to withstand, I think, most of the dire wolf pup. Or the dire wolf, rather. Too bad I can't put it over the mantis. Um, I could sacrifice the skunk. Yeah. Or just sacrifice the mantis and then put it down the mealworm, which will then kill the dire wolf pup. That's pretty funny. Okay. And let's get this card. River Otter. Well, we can make it three and five, and that would be enough to take out the wolf. So let's do it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, excellent. I could have went a lot of different ways. It went pretty well. Okay. I am thinking, let's see, pronghorn, not super cool with. Um, maybe we'll do the canine one. Dire wolf pup, got it. All right, let's get an air, airborne fan. All right, we have power or health? Health, okay. But you can guess which one I wanna take. Um, let's go with, hmm, I'm trying to think if I want anybody's base stats to be higher. Well, we could have a field moss car that's better, or we could have a, a millworm It's two and six, um, which would really boost somebody else up, so I think I'm going to go with it. Let's stick with our OG mealworm card here. I wish so bad that I could uh, boost it again and get it to like 10, but I think that would end in disaster. These cards are going to move around again, and that's not ideal for anything. Um, got us a Mantis that we could play. They would be taken out pretty quickly by the Coyote, so i um, tempted to just put down the Golden Pellet and let the Coyote hit it. Um, but once again, you know, where do I place anything else? Um, yeah, maybe we'll just do that and we'll see what comes up in the next turn and react accordingly. 
Okay, a dire wolf pup. Um, that's feeling a little bit better. Unfortunately, we can't get it on the board. Um, however, we could get the mantis on the board for a turn and do a little bit of damage and then let Coyote take it out and move on. Um, which isn't super cool, but you know, we can at least get something going, I suppose. And I didn't need to cut that coyote card. Um, trying to think of if there's any good reason to do so. The wolf cub will come in and rock the mantis's world, anyways. Um, so I'm trying to think of. I guess it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. I'm not positive we're going to be able to win this round with how it's going already. Um, it's pretty. Looking pretty grim, honestly. So let's just put down what we have, and if we can get our dire wolf pup on, we might have a chance. But it's not not feeling great. Um, well, we can get it, um, and we can have it take out the wolf cub. And the coyote will move over after attacking, and the dire wolf pup should be stronger by then. So. Let's do, I was going to say, let's cut, but I think that we're going to keep going. Okay. Now the dire wolf will take that guy out and do two damage on the board. And that wolf is going to come along. Um, we actually have enough that we could go ahead and wave the fan and get us to the next phase, and that might be better than trying to keep this fight going. Um, I think it actually will be, so let's go with that. There we go. That'll clear off some of the cards from the board, I think. Or maybe not. I can't remember. Okay, yeah, it cleared off the ones in the backfield, so that's an improvement over the current situation, I think. Coyote and Bloodhound are going to take out these guys. Yep. And we have enough to get field mice down and cut a card, if we so choose. Um, field mice could take out the Coyote in the next turn, so I think that we'll cut Bloodhound and set up the field mice for an attack over here. Um, actually, let me see. I'm not positive which way the pack mule will do things. It might actually move over to the left, so let's uh, prepare for it to come over there, I guess. Yep, okay, good. That's the position we wanted it to be in, I think. Okay, um, let's see. We need the field mice will do that. Pack mule move over, and so I don't think we need to place the boulder yet. Oh, I miscalculated. I should have done that. That's okay. We'll uh, take out wolf cub with the uh, field mice. We're gonna be pretty close to winning this, I think. Good old skunk. Yeah, they're not going to be able to come back from this now. And there's our millworm. Excellent. So we're going to have this mega skunk here. Nice. I wish so bad that we could keep the cards that we pick up like with this turn. Because that would be so neat. Uh, let's see, let's put some alpha down, why not? And pick it at wild bull. Um, and that would be boosted, but I think it's pretty nice what we have here now. It's gonna be quite a few excess teeth. I think we got, what, seven, nine damage maybe on that? Yeah. Cool. Alright, another mantis. Um, we could maybe use it for the fungi event and um, 
That'd be nice. Okay. Well, we could kind of use getting another item. We only have Boulder, so it's kind of tempting to go this route. Because we do have a cave event and a um, fire. We can't tell what's up that way, unfortunately. Um, sacrificing for a bone might be nice, like doing a random card so we'd have a bone token. So that's tempting as well. We do have some pelts to trade in. Um, maybe I should go that route and get the items there at the end. So we'll do a sacrifice um, and get us a bone card. There's also a chance here that we'll get something that we don't really care about. Um, however, these are looking interesting. Um, a cat or a turkey vulture might be nice. I think I'll go with the turkey vulture since I'll be generating a lot of bone. And hey, there's our Ouroboros. Um, that would be sweet. We also have a Mole Man that could help us out with any aerial attack problems we may have. Um, so I think I'll go with Mole Man as much as I want Ouroboros. Um, the Mole Man might be better to have in our pocket. Okay, we're going to sacrifice our random card for lettuce. Okay. And uh, I will maybe put the, um, un I think it was the Undying Sigil that lets the cards come back. I always forget the names of them, but that could be really handy. Elk Fawns coming in hot. They have Wriggling Tail as well. That's not good. Um, we could block off the attack of one of them start. Um, let's put it, say, right over here in the corner, and we, uh, they're going to be moving around, so we should have been probably over there to get the most efficiency with our skunk, but oh well. Okay, um, it'd be great if I could hit or get us our mantis there and take out both elk fawns in one turn put a boulder in front of that elk's path. Um, so let's do that. Okay, that will start generating some bone now with that mantis on the board. Oh, the darn wriggling tails got us. Should have been paying more attention to that. I think this might be the end of it for me. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get enough damage on the board to uh, make up for that mistake now. So, <laughs> yep. That's going to be it. Um, wowee. Sometimes these matches just end uh, when you least expect it. <laughs> but I don't know. I think uh, another core mistake that I made was uh, hoping for the uh, like bone build stuff to work out more in my favor. But... Um, this hasn't really panned out yet, so I think I'm going to do one more run here, and I'm going to try really hard to not bother with bone generation. Because I've, ha I've yet to see that really pan out, so let's see if we can do a little bit better. Hey, there's the Limmer guy here. Um... Value representatives will be equal to half the number of bone tokens. Well, I just said I'm not going to do bones, but here we go. Um, bone it is. <laughs> um, why not? Let's get the Rat King. Okay. Um, would be funny to try to power that up right away, but we could get us a pack rat instead. Let's get a pack rat. All right. Elk fawns coming in hot. Okay. Um, 
And I also have Burrower on too. So we really need to get us a pack rat going, I think, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble when uh, these guys are coming at us and we don't have anything to offensively strike. You know, one of them at least. Okay. Hey, there's our interestingly named card. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. Okay, let's get us down a uh, flying ant, I suppose. And uh, we can block the uh, elk with a skunk for this turn. So excited to have Lammer Geyer. This will be our first time with it. Um, we're definitely going to get it on the board first. There we go. Okay, and let's see. We get some Ant Queen. Cool. Woodcarver sounds like a good route to go. I wonder, I don't see any sigils that I don't want to take per se. Um, perhaps, let's see, getting the pack rat's ability on the rat king so that we get kind of a common purpose at some point. Um, generating stuff on one card would be really sweet. Still going for an insect build overall, but since I have a bird here, um, thinking I might do another bird, just in case we get us a sigil situation or we don't have insects right away. Okay, hey, it's paid off already, so even if we don't end up getting to fully empower our insect army, we'll uh, maybe have a backup with some birds. All right, a wild bull with mighty leap. Um, let's see. So flying ant could be used to uh, help attack it. Fortunately, that frozen possum is going to be in the way. And yeah, don't see a whole lot else to do here. I guess we'll just have to put down our flying ant and let's go ahead and pull our tooth. Oh, ouchie. Still hurts me a little bit every time I see it. Okay. May have to do a card cut here in a minute on that wild bull, but pretty soon it's going to be the only thing on their side that's um, doing anything um, damage wise. So, matter of fact, I want to take it out now with my ant queen. I'm gonna try to find that Lammer Geyer card. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't think we're gonna have it in time though. <laughs> That's all right. Let's see. I'm saying we should probably head to the wood carver again. Get us that sigil totem created. All right, uh, bone consuming stuff. Hmm. That is tempting. Having another two blood would be nice, or another one blood. Let's go with the bone consumer. Okay, Rattler. Maybe not the best idea with the uh, Lambert Hire, but um, we'll go with it. You know, Mighty Leap might be a good idea to get for the birds. It would be kind of interesting to have them um, be both airborne and airborne blocking, you know. I think it's better than a shove ability. I just I don't see a whole lot of value in the cards moving around. It's just kind of a liability with the boss fights. Boss fights in particular. Um, okay, we can put out a skunk that would slow down the raven quite a bit. Um, it does have that guardian ability though, where they're gonna move around, so it's kind of moot in that regard. 
So maybe we'll play uh, flying yet to get started. Okay. Um, could cut that card, but we'll just leave it be, I guess. Okay, we can get this rat king going. That'll do some good damage on it. We're almost ready for our rattler to come about. Okay, let's see. That rat king is going to get the uh, raven on that turn. Okay. Ooh, and a cuckoo. Excellent. Um, so we could block off that lane and start doing some damage on it. So let's go for it. Um, there we go. And still not enough to play our Rattler, unfortunately. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a game of back and forth for the moment, but that's okay. Alright, we don't have a ton of bone. We only have five, so I'm guessing that'll only give me two or three. I don't know if it rounds up damage, so it's not enough to sacrifice all those other cards just to get that. Um, I, I could slow down the um, Raven with a skunk, I suppose. Okay, Ant Queen on the board would generate bone for us too, um, which would give us our Lemurgeier um, some room to breathe. So we've got this column blocked off anyway, so why not just go with this? Alright, and our Lemurgeier should probably wait another turn. Okay, now we can put it down and. Uh, Actually, let's see. Yeah, now we should put it down. And we can also put our Rattler. And that'll help take out the Raven, and the Lammergeier will still be uh, pretty relevant overall. There we go. It looks like it could be a pretty powerful card um, late game if I have a lot of sacrifices, so. Well, I don't see a whole lot of reason to combine those. I mean, having double HP, I guess, would be sweet. Um, so I guess I'll do it because it is a bird as well. And with that, you know, mighty leap, maybe it'll pan out. It's kind of an unusual strategy for me, but we'll keep with it. I think I'll sacrifice the Rattler so I don't have something consuming bone since Lammergeier needs bone on the board. Um, let's enhance, I guess our flying ant makes the most sense, um, and with it enhanced we will, um, work on maybe getting it fledgling or something so that it can become an ant queen with, like, a higher, you know, base value, and we could do... Uh, let's see. Who else might be good to enhance here with health? Perhaps a pack rat and a skunk. Let's do a skunk. We'll use it as a defensive wall, you know, with reducing the power and everything. Um, that would be able to survive a shark attack now, so that could work out nicely. Alright, boss fight time. This will probably set the tone for how well we're going to do with all the others. Um, I wonder if it's possible to survive this if he has Stinky. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing it doesn't matter at all. I might cut that Leaping Trap or maybe even one of the Strange Frogs since they're going to be attacking. And uh, we'll use our Skunk to uh, 
slow down the bullfrog. And let's go ahead and cut one of the strange frogs. Okay. There we go. Now we'll start saving up to get our pack rat on the board. have enough to uh, actually get our Rattler onto the play. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and get our Ant Queen on the board. Okay. And we can get our Worker Ant um, started on this Strange Frog. Um, it's not ideal because we'll lose it, but we uh, will be in a better place, I think, pretty soon. I think it will be in the next phase, um, right after this. Okay. This will give us a couple of cards to trade to when the time's right. Good. Rat King can help us get our bone tokens up higher. Alright, three cards to take out. Let's see, Kingfisher that can kill, but I don't think it, it's going to matter. I mean, I do have Mighty Leap, I guess, so um, birds could be at risk. Um, so maybe let's see none of these are all that impressive actually could get rid of this column where the uh which do i forgot what was over there the bullfrog is going to come in and i think it's a pack rat that's what i was trying to think of um let's just do this column here like none of these are so strong that i'm like worried so and we have a third one, so let's get the bullfrog to you. Okay. And um, maybe we should put some power up against this possum. Um, let's see. It's even a simple river ought to take it out. Wish we could get our Lamer Geyer, but we still have a lot of bone yet. So. Let's just do as a uh, bullfrog over there, and we'll put something out against the skink as well. We're not going to need tons of resources, I think, to uh, pull off a win at this rate. Okay, flying ant. I uh, can see. Let's see, the porcupine is airborne too, so maybe sacrificing our bullfrog will make sense there. Power up our ant queen and our flying ant as well. Hey, thanks for following, Hodazio. Nice to meet you. And let's see, you're our lucky uh, 20th follower, so I'll have to um, up our follower subscriber goal. So that's awesome. Thank you for joining. Okay, let's see. Let's can we do Cuckoo could block off that lane for us. Um not that it matters too much this late in the game. Our Lamer guy still isn't super strong. Hey there, Hogdazio. Nice to meet you. Um Kingfisher could go just about anywhere too. I think it's not gonna matter. I think it we're gonna kind of obliterate their side, so I need to strategize for too long. And we have another Lamer Geyer. So let's see. Yeah, I started with the ant deck on this one. Um, it's been kind of my best one so far. Like it really, really helps with some of these Casey mods runs. I think I've won the most uh, matches with it overall. <laughs>
It's been great. The relentless wolverine, its hunger only grows greater as it kills. I'd kind of like to have it, but it is a bone consumer. Um, so that would be cool. I think we'll try it. I'm not super positive I'll be able to win with the way I'm building my deck now, but I just had a couple of interesting new cards come up, so um, kind of want to keep them going. Um, I'd like to have another woodcard revisit. I'm not super happy with my sigil situation. I've got enough teeth to probably make it worth trying to get a um, new pelt. Let's see. I don't have anything that I want to power up per se. Maybe the Wolverine, if this was an, an attack power up, we could do a sigil swap um, and put its power on something else, like maybe one of the Lammergeiers. I think I'll go that route. We'll go to the left. Might not be a perfect scenario, but we'll see. All right, two of a can. Um, sounds like an easy win for me, so let's do it. Wow, I guess not. Alright, plus one attack power. Um, the Wolverine's ability to put on with another attack power I think would give us enough power to see it start ramping up in strength pretty rapidly, so I think I am going to take this opportunity to uh, buff it up. Plus, with it consuming five bone, it kind of makes my Lammergeiers weaker. Um, so we'll try this out. All right, Cuckoo and Raven. We definitely don't want our road to be blocked off. Um, this Raven's going to be a problem, though, with the amount of damage it's going to do. So Cuckoo's going to be moving around. I may have to do um, the hook because Raven is just so dangerous um, right now. We may, may have to uh, take it with us. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to have to pull it. Um, so otherwise it would win. Hopefully we'll get us a item pit stop soon. Okay, um, I don't think that we have enough to get anything on the board. I mean, I could pull another card, but I think that getting a Rat King makes sense. They can then attack and take out one of these Sparrows. Okay. Here we go. Too much damage. Alright. I think I'll take the uh, corpse maggot so that we can have something auto deploy. Perhaps even the Lamerick Iron. Okay. Um, we could put that on there. Or maybe we could put it on the Wolverine instead. And that way we don't have to pay the bone penalty. I like that. Wolverine's ready to fight. Let's send him out. It might end up being a problem when we get to the um, angler boss fight, but we'll see how it goes. I wish I'd, I'd had a mantis or two by now. Sparrow and a wolf cub. Ah, and I had no items. I can slow down the wolf, I guess. And. That may be the best we can do for now. Okay. It's already looking like I might not be able to win. <laughs> uh, the Rat King can take out the Sparrow, but that Wolf is going to be a problem. So, let's just see. Maybe I'll get lucky and, well, I can take out both of them. I don't know about that. That's a 
great question. Um, I just started playing with them on this particular hand or uh, run through, so I'm not sure how that works with them. I'm gonna have to check it out. I think they've won here. Like I, I don't have a way to like, attack past this. So unfortunately, that's it. I'm doing single candle, and uh, yeah, that's rough. Oof. I want to have to see. There's got to be a better strategy. So at the level I'm playing right now, Hodazio, I'm trying to go for um, a 80 point run. And uh, I think I did single candle, all totem battles, boss totems, and no boss rares just now. And it was really, really hard. Um, I think that I'd rather... I mean, I've tried several different ways, but it's hard to hit 80 total points um, without something going kind of crazy. So, yeah, I want to keep strategizing on that. But anyways, thanks for following me. It's, uh, it's nice to have a new follower, and I'm going to go ahead and roll credits for today. I've been on for um, other price scales better than one life. Yeah, I think it that might be better. I think I'll try that. Okay, but yeah, thanks for um, following me today, and uh, thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.